It's so nice to be here. I'm Geordie Lane uh, from Australia, possibly from a criminal family way back in Ireland, Lake Joe. Um, and it's my first time here ever in Lancaster. Uh, so thank you all for getting here early or on time. <laughs> We'll, we'll tell you later how myself and the Stray Birds came to meet, but uh, I'm so very happy to be here. This first week of shows has been incredible, so uh, uh, we've got all these film, these cameras here, so um, they can edit out all of my talking that you're about to witness. Uh, <laughs> so there was these two dogs, one named Roxanne. She was a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, brown, beautiful, sleek thing. She came from that town called Thornbury, uh, uh, pronounced Thornbury back home. Um, and she was a beautiful thing. Every, everybody loved her. She was great with all the other dogs, kids, everything. You know, she was a strong bull terrier, but she was doing well for herself. And then in the left-hand corner, we had Raffi. Now, he was a sort of scruffy little thing. You know, me and him sort of had competitions for who could have the scruffiest hair. And, and, and he was... He had a bit of sort of small man syndrome. Little dog, had a lot to say around town. Everybody found him a little bit annoying and uh, he was a mixture of a whole different bunch of dogs, um, feces that he would roll in on his daily walks. And uh, and so, you know, you imagine that as a human, if, if you couldn't clean yourself up and there was nobody else to do it because your owners were too slack, then it would be, um, you'd, you'd get a slight disposition of, of feeling angry because you smelt bad. So that's where Rafi came from. And so he was the angry little guy. Roxanne was a beautiful, strong lady. And um, one day it all just came to a head where I was coming home from a local chicken and chip shop getting my 4.90 chicken and chip meal, free can of drink, feeling good about myself, so much chicken salt on those chips I thought I was going to die and mum starts screaming from the backyard and I run out there and Roxanne, she's got Raffi uh, in a lock jaw um, and if anyone doesn't know what that is, you know, there's sort of an instinctual thing that some dogs do where they rip in and their, their jaw literally won't open again. So she's ripping into his neck, throwing him around the backyard. There's blood flying everywhere. She's screaming at me to run and get the pepper. And I'm kind of still confused and overwhelmed by the amount of chicken salt on my fries that uh, I'm thinking I don't need any more seasoning, but all right, mum. Uh, so I run inside and she's like, Jordy, you've got to get the pepper quick. If you put the pepper on the dog's nose, it can shock them out of the lock jaw. I guess it makes them sneeze and their jaw opens. And so I run inside, I get the pepper grinder and find this, yeah, it's a big, massive Italian, you know, you know, three foot long pepper grinder. I come out with that. I said, this is going to do. She said, yes, just bloody grind it. And so I start grinding and grinding and chasing him around the backyard. And it's pretty hard to do this, especially when you've never worked uh, in a restaurant. And I'm like grinding away. And I said, mum, we've run out of peppercorns. Um, so uh, I, I think she was used to running out of things in the cupboard. So she knew one other thing we could do. So she said, Geordie, you've got to run down to the shed, go to your music room, get a drumstick from your drum kit, bring that back as fast as you can. By the way, with the Australian accent and talking this fast, can you guys understand what I'm saying? Or, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just trying to get it over with because we started a little bit late. Uh, 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 uh. Um, so anyway, I, I run down to the shed, I get, I, I get the drumstick and I bring that back and I'm like, Mum, seriously, what do we do? This is no time for music. What are we, what are we gonna be doing? And she's like, Johnny, get going, get the money, not the go! And, and uh, I don't know, is that a universal theme that people have mums that sound like that sometimes? Um, anyhow, I brought that drumstick to her and I said, what are we going to do? And that's when she finally stopped um, picking the guitar. She's a really good... She just starts pointing with her finger in this upwards motion and... She's, I'm so sorry to tell you this, son. You're going to have to get the, get the stick... You're going to have to shove the stick up the dog's backside. It's buttocks, glutamus, maximus, whatever you call it here in America. And uh, that was prob probably the worst day and the most shocking day of my life. And, uh, but we had to save these dogs' life. And so she tackled the dogs to the ground. I shoved the stick up there. I don't know how it went up there first go, but it did. And I was glad it wasn't a second time. And the dogs got saved. Little Raffy got sent to the animal hospital. He just celebrated his 16th birthday. And so the moral of the story is, um, I guess, even if you're on tour or whatever, just carry, carry a drumstick with you wherever you go. Uh, 
So I wrote this song and it's called St. Mary's Bells and it's about a church called St. Mary's and the sound of their bells and it's got nothing to do with that story. I hope you... Uh, <laughs> Circus. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm kicking back my heels on this Sunday afternoon. I'll be sculling bitter and drinking myself old to you. But when you look back at me from a picture on a shelf, I get a ringing in my ears from those bells. I get a ringing in my ears from those bells. I get a ringing in my ears from those bells. Thank you so very much. <laughs> 